Hey Virgo. All right, so I got the, <laughs> I feel like you could have saw somebody's dark side. You could have like really saw someone's true colors or like, is you saw a side of somebody that you did not like. Also, I feel like you're walking away from something that is fresh, something that just started. And <laughs> like you guys have had a crazy message. Um, you could have a secret passion for somebody or somebody has a secret passion for you, but they're keeping their guard up about it. Like they're not telling you or you're not telling them. So let's see what comes out. Moving. Okay, yeah. You could be moving, actually moving houses, like moving to a different state or something or a different country. Or you could be moving towards or away from something or someone. Maybe a job is causing you to move, okay? We have you are stronger than you know. So yeah, you could be feeling like a little disappointed about something at this time. Okay, one more card for the overall energy for Virgo. One more card for Virgo. Hmm, self-care change. Okay. Yeah, I feel like you're changing something in yourself or in your health. Maybe you're focusing on self-love at this time, or maybe that's the advice here. Okay. Universe, can I get a spread for Virgo? For Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Ace of Wands. Okay, so this is a fresh start here. Passion. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. You could have been dealing with a fire sign. You could have fire in your chart. Universe, can I get more for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Queen of Wands, yeah, you definitely could have been dealing with a fire sign here. Okay. Damn, the fool with the Knight of Wands. This is all fire. You know, you... Okay. <laughs> so somebody could have been... I don't want to say player type. But like, someone could have been very exciting to be around. Yeah, Ace of Cups. Maybe this started... I feel this started very fast and got upsetting very fast you have the nine of or the five of wands this is all fire except this ace of cups here yeah this could be a relationship that you started okay Sh uh, star card showed itself to me you could have been dealing with an aquarius but this has got to off of a very fiery start and then um the arguing started kicking in okay you guys are very chill people so this arguing probably doesn't go well with you you could have leo in your chart here these are a lot of leo cards here page of swords yeah you took a chance on something new and feeling like it kind of backfired literally since we're talking about a lot of fire <laughs> i think it backfired for you or for them but you guys do are not getting along anymore i feel like there's gonna get more for virgo so i'm rising with venus signs gonna get two more cards for virgo so i rising is okay Mm, five of cups yeah somebody somebody could be upset or feeling regret about something maybe there's a decision that needs to be made either to stay or leave you do have the full card here so you could have been dealing with an aries but the ten of pentacles okay so if somebody saw this as happiness this could be happiness here with ten of pentacles or maybe you just want to be happy with this person but there's conflict around that okay Maybe there's an issue with starting something with somebody. Maybe someone needs to move in order for this to happen. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Just why is the Ace of Wands here? Okay. High Priestess could have been dealing with a Pisces, but yeah, you could have maybe a gut feeling about something. Maybe you feel like something's going on behind your back, possibly, and that's making you upset. Yeah, the Hanged Man definitely could be dealing with a Pisces. Um, maybe you work with the Pisces. This could be someone that you work with, but you have the Ace of Pentacles here. So definitely somebody wants a new start with you. Let's see, why is the Queen of Wands here? Universe, why is the Queen of Wands here for Virgo? I feel like something's upsetting you. Okay, so you could be dealing with an Aquarius or a um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but we have the Queen of Cups here with the Star. So you could want to move forward with somebody or somebody wants to move forward for you, or you just want to see happier times in this relationship. You guys just want to be happy and peaceful here. Could have walked away from an Aquarius or a water sign. You have the Eight of Cups. Universe, why is the Fool here? 
Where's the fool card here? Where's the fool card here for Virgo? Nine of Wands, yeah, okay, so you might be opposed to this new beginning here just because it could bring a lot of burdens, a lot of fighting, but this does make you happy. Like, not the fighting and the shit, but like this person does make you happy, but it comes with a lot of baggage. But you have the Ten of Wands here, so I feel like you guys can get through this. That could be why you have this Stronger Than You Know card. You guys can get through this here, but there's a lack of communication with you and this person. You have the Five of Swords. Maybe someone's planning to come forward here. You have, oh wow, you have the King of Wands in reverse with the Sun card and the Temperance. So yeah, somebody could have a temper here. I'm feeling like due to this Five of Swords and Nine of Wands, somebody could be really defensive. Could be dealing with a Leo, a Sagittarius, or an Aries. Okay. Why is the Five of Swords here? Yeah, someone is definitely planning to make a decision here, either to leave or stay. Or maybe if you've already left, you could um, be trying to make a decision on whether to take this new offer. There could, yeah, there's definitely an offer here. You have the Fool and the Ace Cups. There's definitely an offer here. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Maybe this person is a little bit irresponsible. The Queen of Pentacles. So yeah, I feel like you want to like either go into this fast or rush out fast. Something you want to make a decision now. Like, are you ready to make this decision? Yeah, Ten of Wands, you're ready to drop these burdens. The relationship that you could be currently in might be unstable. Or you're just, you don't see it going anywhere. Like, I feel like this is coming from you. I don't feel like you see it going anywhere. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Universe, why is the Ace of Cups here? For Virgo, why is the Ace of Cups here? Yeah, you could be walking away from this. This could be a very fresh start. I mean, I just see you guys moving along the line. You got the Ace Cups, or the Ace of Wands, Two of Wands. Like, you're just going through. Yeah, you're. I feel like you're walking away from this. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Either that or you're not going to accept this new offer. Knight of Swords. Yeah, maybe you've been studying the situation here, but I feel like you're, you're moving away fast, like with the quickness here. This could just, hmm. Okay, so there is somebody here. There could be two people here because you have the two of cups also. So this could have been a soulmate here, but it's just like, there's a lot of fighting going on. It's like not working out. But you have the ace of wands with the two of wands in reverse. This is like this passion for someone that you're not talking about. You're not could be for an air sign. You could be moving towards an air sign or towards a fire sign. And Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What is the Knight of Swords here? You could be walking away from this person to move towards this other person. Well, okay. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you could be holding on to an opportunity here. Knight of Wands. Could be a Capricorn that you want to move towards. It, you have this Ace of Cups here in reverse in the moon. So you're not speaking of this. They're not speaking of this. I feel like you guys are not communicating. But with the Knight of Swords here, I feel like you will. You could be planning to communicate with this person. Telling them. Page of Swords here. This is definitely a message. You could be telling them that. This could be a friend. You could be telling them this didn't work out here. And I don't know. Maybe looking towards some advice or for some advice. Page of Swords with the Seven of Swords. You could have saw this person as deceptive. Do they see you as deceptive? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Universe, why is the Seven of Swords here for Virgo? Why is the Seven of Swords here for Virgo? Six of Wands in reverse. Yeah, this relationship that you were in could have been with an air sign. It was not successful. Too much fighting. You want to get away from the fighting. I'm seeing why is the Five of Cups here? I do feel like someone regrets either the way they treated somebody or, so they, yeah, there's sadness here. Why is the Five of Cups here? You could have been dealing with the cancer. Yeah, you have the Hermit here. So you could be keeping this to yourself that you are regretting something. Let's see. Why is the Five of Cups here with the Hermit card? 
Well, it's five of cups. You have the perfect card. Boom. Yeah, you could be. You could regret um, moving towards this person. I've got the lovers and the four of wands showed itself. So, so why is the ten of pentacles here? Universe, why is the ten of pentacles here for Virgo? Yeah, Knight of Wands with the Seven of Wands. I do feel like this was, you could be fighting something, like something in the home. You and someone at the home could be fighting and maybe you want to move or you want this person to move. Could be an Aquarius, Pisces, really any sign, but those signs are coming up strongly. It could be another Virgo. Maybe, yeah, something at home is not going well. You could be real defensive in your own home. Okay. Where about the Seven of Wands? Why is the Seven of Wands here? Could be a fire sign in the home that's like, mm, okay. So you have the Ace of Cups here with the tower. So something happened here. Shocking news, shocking information. The whole foundation came crumbling down and now boom, you have the Ace of Cups. So this is, this all had to come down in order for this new opportunity to come in or for you to present this opportunity to somebody else, all this had to happen, or to rebuild this. But I do feel like there's something around the home that's not going well. Maybe someone's stealing from you in your house. Could have a roommate, maybe they're stealing from you. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Universe, can I get advice for Virgo? What's the advice for Virgo regarding this spread? What's the advice for Virgo? regarding this spread. The three of earth in reverse, so I'm, I'm getting, stop gathering with people. <laughs> like, I don't know why, maybe you're hanging out a lot with friends or whatever. I'm getting like, maybe, maybe stop doing that so you can look and see who's, okay, oh, I'm, okay, stop inviting people to your house at this time, because somebody is stealing in your home. Stop inviting people in your house. <laughs> until you know who this person is. Okay, you have the five of water here. Yeah, somebody regrets something. There's regret here. Also, I'm getting let go. Let go of this five of cups feeling. Figure out. Pinpoint what is making you sad. And then, yeah, try to fix it here with the magician. Could be dealing with the Gemini, but... I'm getting start over. There's a number one in this card. So, I'm getting start over. Like... Really look at yourself and see what you need to change, what you want changed. Hmm. The magician has advice. You could definitely be manifesting at this time. That could be why the advice here is to get out of that Five of Cups energy because you manifest good and bad. So definitely make sure to keep your thoughts positive. Okay, anyway. Virgo, I hope this was a good reading for you. Um, this could be your energy or the other person's. But, um, yeah, if you would like a personal reading, there's information down below on how you could get one. And, yeah, enjoy the rest of your week.